Hi there, Martin from Audio 7 here. Really quick little tip to show you regarding Sonos. We've had a lot of trouble in the past with the Wi-Fi where we've had multiple zone players, for example, inside racks, the Wi-Fi really causing a problem. Um, it's not very well known, but you can actually turn the Wi-Fi off to get around these problems. Just be careful though. Um, we don't take any responsibility for anything that goes wrong if you do this. Um, and also be aware that the controllers won't work, the actual Sonos controllers, you're still fine to use iPad and all those kind of things. So all you need to do is open up your web browser and put a command into the URL line. Firstly you need to find out the IP address of the Sonos box in question. I personally use a iPhone app called Thing, which we'll put a link to on the bottom of the video. Once you've got the IP address, simply copy the command that you'll find in the description below, change the IP address section to the IP address of your Sonos player which in our case is 192.168.1.11 and what you want to do to turn it permanently off you need to use the Wi-Fi persist off command and when you do that, so I put the wrong one in, once you've done that you'll be given a message just to confirm that it's been done. So, so there we go, Wi-Fi control request succeeded, HTTP OK. And that will turn it off permanently. There is ways of turning it back on, uh, the commands are listed again below. And you can confirm the Wi-Fi is off by viewing the network matrix, which is available through the support screen. Thanks for watching.